Hey there, home labbers and engineers. FE Engineer here. So today we're gonna to take a look at getting an AI chatbot up and running. And what's really interesting about this is it doesn't really use a GPU at all. You can use a GPU if it's an NVIDIA GPU in certain circumstances and it is a little bit harder to set up. But this one only uses CPU and compared to other ones that I have run, especially running only CPU, this one gets really good performance. So with that, let's take a look at what we're doing and let's get started. This video is gonna talk about getting started and getting up and running with Olama. This is an exceedingly simple and easy to use large language model. Currently, it is only available on Mac OS and Linux. It will be coming soon to Windows. But if you go and click the download button and say, I'm a Linux user, you'll notice this is simple, one command. And I've looked through the command. I mean, it doesn't do anything malicious. It does exactly what you think it will do. And so let's, let's do this. Opening up our command line. All we have to do is paste in that command that they gave us and hit enter. As a side note, if you have already run Olama or if you have Olama set up already, then in order to update it, the exact same install command can be used, which will provide updates. Once it says it is available and running and install is complete, we can use a web browser and go through and take a look at what it says. And it will just say, oh, llama is running. So you say, wait a second. I'm confused, what's, what's going on? Well, what you can do is just type olama run, and then orca2 is a really good reasoning model, and hit enter. And the only thing that will happen is this. At the moment, olama is really set up to run command line only. There are some web UIs available for it, but you can say, write me a bedtime story for my children. And again, this is running CPU only. And this is fast enough that honestly, this is quite reasonable. Now I should point out I do have an AMD Ryzen 7950X. It is effectively the most cores and the fastest cores of any of the AMD chips. So do keep that in mind when you see this performance. But with zero setup, zero configuration really, one command, you can install and run large language models and be getting a really good performance with CPU only. And if anybody wanted to see it, this was the story that Olama created. It is quite long. Now, let's say you did not want to run that model and you wanted to run another one. You can just type slash buy and that will get you out of it. And then you can type again, Olama run And let's take a look at the models that they have available. And down here under models on the Olama library, we can see starting LM, Neural Chat, Mistral, Llama 2, Code Llama, Vicuna, and, and, and the list is fairly long. There are quite a few different models here. There are quite a few different ones that they can run. You can, in fact, pull your own models.
I'll have most of these places linked in the description below. But if we go over to the Olama GitHub page, the main GitHub page has an awful lot of the information that you will probably need. How to install a Mac OS. Windows is coming soon, but Linux and Windows subsystem for Linux works. So if you're running Windows subsystem for Linux, you can in fact run and use this on, on Windows. Docker, there is an official Docker image, hooray. Quick start, just write Olama run Llama 2, different model libraries. It explains how to customize models, importing from PyTorch or safe tensors. Clip building, REST APIs, and because it has REST API, you may start to see that, wait a second, this is using a CPU only, and it has REST APIs, meaning I can run this on a server with CPU only and give it whatever resources I want, and then I can ping it through a REST API so then I can be able to hit it whenever I want. And you may start to see where the things that you can build with this are quite powerful. You can, in fact, run multiple models at the same time across multiple different servers and things like that and coordinate them. And this is the beginning of our AI task bot. This is our you know, AI army that we can build that will have different models to do different things all running at the same time, coordinated by another model. And then we can have them running on servers and things like that while we ourselves are able to not use our own CPUs necessarily to do this. But so the, the notes on the main GitHub page will answer an awful lot of questions. And then also there are different examples and different things that will explain to you how to do other things in more detail. I think by default, if you tell it to run a model, it will run the 7B model. And some things to pay attention to. It says you should have 8 gigs of RAM to run 3B, 16 to run 7B, and 32 to run 13B. So you can see that, again, because this is using your CPU and really has nothing to do with a GPU, it will use up your RAM fairly quickly, but you can run pretty big models because it's easier to be running 64 gigs of RAM than it is to have a GPU with 24 gigs of VRAM. So I'm actually pulling Orca to 13B. So let's go through some of the simple commands that people may not exactly be able to easily figure out. To leave a model, you just type slash by. That exits, exits us right out. Olama run, and then put in whatever model name, and that will go ahead, and if you don't have the model, it will download it. And if you do have the model, it will just simply run it. Once it is running, of course, all you do is type in whatever your prompt is. You can, if you really wanted to, you can turn it off by running sudo system control stop olama. You can start it by running sudo system control start olama. You can also, if it's running, you can restart olama. If you want to permanently stop Olama from starting up 
because the way it installs, it will start up automatically. It doesn't pull a model and it doesn't really run anything. So even though it starts up automatically on your computer, it's not really using any real resources. So it's not something to be all that worried about and you can effectively then use it whenever you want. But if you wanted to stop it from starting up automatically, first thing you do is sudo system control stop olama and then you would sudo system control disable olama and that will in fact stop it from starting up automatically the uninstall then has a few things where you need to remove this system service and then you have to remove the the actual files that it installs but i'm not going to get into quite that far but for some folks who may not want it to automatically start up with their system this is how you do it even if it's not started up so if you decide to not have it start up just with your system then to start it up, you would need to sudo system control start olama, and you can still start it up without any problems. That's really all there is to getting up and running with olama. I am going to do some further testing and start actually running it on servers and running APIs. And depending on how that goes, I will probably make some videos about that, including how you can do this on a cloud server for free. So be sure to check back often and I'll have more videos going more in depth into setting up a whole bunch of these guys on a whole bunch of different servers. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this has helped. Thank you so much for watching my videos, home labbers and engineers. I create and edit all of these videos on my own, so any likes and subscribes will massively help out the channel and allow me to continue creating content to help people. If you got value out of this, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel to be notified when new content drops. If there's something I've not covered but you would like to see a video on it, please leave a comment down below. And again, a massive thank you to everyone. I hope you have a great day.